Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I'm out here for a hike today. I don't always film all of my outings. Lately I haven't really um, felt like filming. Sometimes it takes away from the experience to a, a little bit, um, to a degree. But anyway, I picked up this knife. I'm not a knife guy, but I picked up this knife here probably about three months ago. And I've been using it on simple little day hikes and stuff, trying to get it dialed in to the way I want it if that makes sense. Um, like I said, I'm not really a knife guy, but instead of my typical Mora's, which I love Mora knives for the money, I think they're the best value out there. Um, but I've seen numerous reviews on YouTube uh, with this. This is uh, from BPS Knives. They're a Ukraine company out of Ukraine. And um, they're all pretty much handmade to some degree. And uh, I wanted something a little bigger than a Mora but not incredibly heavy like a kukra or something, or a machete. A lot of times I don't like to bring hatchets or axe on outings because of the weight, just the weight alone, but I want to be able to split down wood for my hot tent wood stove and um, without having to carry an axe. So this here is a, they call it the Adventurer. It's uh, let me show you. The overall length is 10 inches. And the blade itself is five and a quarter. It's got a pretty thick spine. It's 1066 high carbon steel. The spine here on the back is really sharp right out of the factory, so it throws sparks really well on a ferrocium rod. It's got a Scandi grind. Uh, the total weight, including the sheath, is 10.2 ounces, so it's not really super heavy. But um, fits really good in the hand and it really batons well. That's really what I got it for, is for batoning smaller wood for my um, wood stoves. It's got walnut handles or scales, if you will. Walnut, really nicely done. You can see that. Really nicely done. And now that I've used it a bunch and I oil it every time, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm kind of lazy as far as that goes. I don't always oil stuff. So I'm going to be putting a force patina on this. I'll be taking the Walnut handles off, cleaning it up with uh, alcohol, and then uh, soaking this whole blade in uh, white vinegar to get a nice patina on there to help maintain the edge. But it comes out of the box like super razor sharp. I mean, like really sharp. It's it's nice to see. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's the um, just a real short look at this new knife from BPS Knives. It's been out a while. There's a lot of videos on YouTube talking about this blade. Um, yeah, nothing more to say really. It's similar in design to the Mora, but it's wider this way and it's thicker this way. So it's a little more robust. Like I said, it really batons well. And I'll be using this to break down wood or split down wood on my uh, adventures going forward. Like I said, I just wanted to use it in the field for a little while before I talked about it at all. It's not really a review, it's just a look at this knife. It's a, it's a, it's a nice looking knife too. It, um, it's awesome. Oh, and let me show you the sheath. It comes with this really awesome sheath. It's thick leather. See the thickness of this leather? I don't know if you can see that. Uh, not really. Well, it's the same thickness as the, the little loop here. It's really nice and thick. Comes with a, a dangler here. Or you can carry it on your belt right there. Nice stitching. Nicely done. Nicely done. And it does come with this ferro rod, a really nice one actually. It's kind of pressure fit in there. Oh. Haven't really used it, but it's there if you want it. Again, a little walnut handle. Kind of a unique design here too. See this little, this little curve here. When you get the ferro rod in there, it kind of holds it in place to some degree because it can't really come up because of this curve right here. If that makes sense. But yeah, really nice sheath. A lot of times with knives that I've seen on YouTube is the knife itself will be acceptable, but the sheath is garbage, but this is really nice. Really nice. So that's it. That's the um, BPS Adventurer knife. It's a nice little knife. Oh, and the best part, under $40. Yeah, under $40. It took about less than a week to get to me. And it's... It's in, your, it's in your hands in less than a week, at least in my case it was. 
check it out. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. See you soon. Peace.